Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to be decorating a birdhouse. A person donates a bunch of birdhouses to my dad's work every year and his friend saves me one aside and I paint it every year. So this year I decided to do a butterfly themed. You've already seen it on the thumbnail of this video, but today is... <laughs> my dog is flying with me. <laughs> she refused to move. So, she's sitting behind me, so I'm sitting in front of her. I'm not sitting on top of her. But she refused to move. So I said, okay, I'll just do the video in front of you. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like me decorating a birdhouse. And let's get into it. So right now we have a clean slate, um, I painted it blue and yellow, nothing fancy, just like plain colors, and now I'm going to start painting the bodies of the butterflies. So for the body, you're literally going to do a straight line down, it's very easy, and then kind of have a tip at the bottom of it, um, and then you're going to make a head on the top of it, which is almost like a really tiny ball, I mean depending on how many or how big your bu butterflies are and how many you're doing. For me, uh, I think I put a little too much of them overall. I think maybe I should have made a few of them bigger and then maybe changed the sizes a little bit, but I didn't think of it. And I also think I had way too many of them. So you'll see me just finishing up the butterflies. And then after you do the butterfly bodies and head, you're going to want to do the antennas. So the antennas are literally just like swirls. <laughs> Um, literally curved lines that's ha like half circles that's literally all they are so these were kind of really easy to do but I'm just gonna keep it in fast motion to keep this video progressing now also like I said I think I did way too many of them on that little yellow area right there I don't think I did too many I literally just did four or five which I think was a great number and I think I should have done the same thing on the top and maybe made them a little bigger but again I didn't think of it now, you can also see that butterfly head that I'm doing right now is very close to the one next to it, and it's very big, so I did get multiple sizes in there. However, you can't put them too close to each other, because remember, you're going to need the wings of the butterfly, and those go out a little farther. So now I'm going to do the same thing to the back, and pretty much all around until we're completely finished with our butterfly bodies and heads everywhere.
so like I said, these are pretty easy. That's why I did just the bodies, just the heads, and then I came back to do the um, antennas. I also used a different paintbrush that was a little thinner to help me, but uh, I think you guys have got a pretty good look on what they're supposed to do. Also, you can t see at the ends of the antennas, I'm also adding those like little circular ball shapes. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that, but I just think that's kind of how butterflies look and that's how I always pictured them. So, um, nothing huge, but just a teeny tiny thing to put at the very end. So now next, I'm taking the end of a paintbrush and now I'm doing their wings. This is the easiest thing to me. Instead of literally drawing every single one out, I took two different sized paintbrushes and I used the back of one of them to form the top of the wings and then I used the back of the other one to do the bottom half of the wings because the bottom one is a little bigger and that's why I got the perfect shape of how the top wings are normally a little smaller for butterflies. Again, just how I picture them, you can do whatever you want, but I just think they li look like a little cooler like that. So this is still kind of slow, just showing you I dab the paintbrush, or the back of the paintbrush, into the little cup of paint, and then I put it on and I repeat that process 85 million times until all of my butterflies are completely finished. However, this takes a while, so sometimes I did just the tops and, I, and then I would do the whole entire sheet and then come back to the bottoms, but again, I'm going to put this in fast motion because who wants to sit here and watch me do 85 million dots that take forever but end up looking really pretty. Of course, the top ones are going to be either right under the head or a little farther down depending on how big the butterflies are that you did. Um, for me, my butterflies were pretty small, so the paintbrush hack kind of worked really good, and it was, like, the perfect size, so that's kind of what I was aiming for there. Of course, if you do something bigger, you're going to find something bigger, maybe a water bottle cap or some kind of cap to something that you can stick in there and maybe stick on, or you can draw them out. I just didn't want to draw them out because I think it took forever. Also, I love the mismatched vibe, so I did blue on yellow and yellow on blue. Um, the yellow was a little bit harder just because you could kind of see through it even with me stamping so much onto the wood. So I went over at the end and kind of did another coat of them. that because of my wings it kind of interrupted the whole entire body so I'm gonna go back like you see here and redo that line that originally was the body of the butterfly and just put it right through so now you can see the body and the wings you could outline the wings if you wanted to obviously I can tell those are butterflies so I didn't want to but just like you see on the other sides that I already completed I'm gonna do it here so again you're literally, you can uh, fix up the head if you want to, too, because sometimes I covered a little bit of the head, but you're going to do literally a straight da line down right in the middle of the butterfly and then have the little point at the end. You can go back because now it's on the yellow, so now you're going to need to go over the black a little bit, just like I'm doing here. And then, of course, fix the head if you want to because the head got covered a little bit. Now, I think that butterfly looks way better than the rest, so... I did that to all of the other butterflies, and now you can see what I mean by the butterflies were so crowded on there, but it's okay, I can't really do anything about it now, it's not like I'm going to cover them up. So, I just added a few little dots with the end of a much smaller paintbrush on top, some were bigger, some were smaller, you can literally do one dab in, and that will cover the entire butterfly. So, this is kind of how the finished product came out, um, obviously... It was on the driveway and I just did the next step that I'm going to show you in a second so I couldn't pick it up fully. I did a large butterfly on the bottom. I also wrote home to be home on the 
the front because I thought that was really cute instead of doing butterflies and it is a birdhouse. So those are how the butterflies with the dots came out. They're a little messy and a little crunched, but that's okay. I mean, I wish I did a little less on the top, but who cares? It's still super cute in my opinion. And I did it on the edges and the back to make sure it was completely covered. And I think I got all of it. Um, Again, I just think it's so cute. I think my favorite part is the home tweet home. Like, what? Home tweet home. Like, I, I stole that from somewhere on the internet. But that's just, like, amazing. Home tweet home. Who doesn't love home tweet home? Sorry, I'm, I'm moving the camera so much. I was trying to get a good angle on it. Lastly, we have our very, very last step, which is a clear coat. This is going to be outside since it's a birdhouse, obviously, um, and the wind, the rain, the thunderstorms, the whatever, kind of crazy weather, snow, winter. I have one that lasted all winter. It has the same exact color on it that it did in the summer because I put this clear coat on. So this clear coat works wonders. I mean, you can get, this is like for wood, metal, whatever, um, for indoor and outdoor stuff. It smells horrible, so definitely go outside when you're using it and like don't go near anything and make sure you know what direction the wind is blowing in. This one says hold 8 to 10 inches. If you have any drips, you can take those out with either a paintbrush or your finger. I had to do that a few times or just spray more. Sometimes that kind of makes those just drip to the bottom and then you don't see them. Um, but I literally sprayed this all over. And then you have to wait 10 minutes till a second coat. So I already did the second coat and I will show you the final product hanging up on whatever tray I decide. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I made sure it definitely had it all over because honestly, if you miss one spot, it's, it, and if it gets ruined, then you're gonna have one super smeared nasty spot and the rest is gonna look pretty. So just make sure you have everything covered and the second coat also helps in case you missed anything at least there'll still be one coat on it you can repeat this process every year or so if you want but for me i only had it to do like two coats and it stays for years so um you can get this at like home depot e or lo like lowe's even if you have like a paint protectant or like sealant that works too but just make sure It'll be good for outdoors and weather and everything too. So well, let's go hang this up. Honestly, you might need an extra person just to hold the ladder. So I had my mom here. Um, I already had screws that had like little loops into it for me to be able to hang this up. So I just zip tied it to the tree. In my opinion, that was the easiest way to go. Um, bird likes to be higher up, but if you want to see your birdhouse, you could put it a little lower, just don't have it on the ground. Um, so this is the final product. If you want, you could spray it over one more time with that clear coat. I don't think you need to because I didn't, and I think it works. I had it right in the front of my house because um, I love how it says home tweet home, and I think it looks super cute, especially with the little butterfly on the bottom because people walking by will definitely see that. They won't see the butterflies on the top as much unless you put it a little lower. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.